Hello students, under the teaching content program, let us go ahead with the second session under molecular spectroscopy. In today's class, we are going to discuss regarding basic features of different spectrometers. In today's class, we are going to discuss regarding the basic features of different spectrometers. Coming to the basic features of different spectrometers. In fact, let us know what is a spectrometer or a spectrophotometer. Instruments which are used to study the absorption or emission of electromagnetic radiation as a function of wavelength are called spectrometers or spectrophotometers. So, instruments which are used to study the absorption or emission of electromagnetic radiation as a function of wavelength are called spectrometers or spectrophotometers. The essential components of spectrometer are a stable and cheap radiant energy source, wavelength selector, sample holder, detector. In today's class, we are going to study regarding the radiant energy source and the wavelength selector. In today's class, we are going to study under the essential components of spectrometer, we are going to study regarding a radiant energy source, wavelength selector and in the next class we are going to study regarding sample holder and detector. So the basic features of different spectrometers are, we first have a source, so this is going to be a light source, then we have got a monochromator. What a monochromator is going to be one which is going to see that only one wavelength is going to pass through the sample. So all the poly color or poly light which has got different wavelength is made into only one color by passing it through a monochromator. Then we have got a sample holder, we have got a detector and we have got an amplifier and a recorder. So this is going to be the light source for a different one. We are going to use different light source. We have got a monochromator where it is going to be where it has been. I am going to get only light of only one wavelength. This is passed through the sample. Then it is going to be detected. Then it is going to be amplified and finally going to be recorded. Coming to the radiation sources. Coming to the radiation sources, we are going to see the radiation source for UV radiation, infrared region, infrared radiation. For UV radiation, hydrogen lamp or deuter deuterium lamp is used. For UV radiation, when we require UV radiation, then we are going to use hydrogen lamp or deuterium lamp. This is going to be a hydrogen lamp or a deuterium lamp. These bulbs consist of a pair of electrodes and provided with a quartz window. These bulbs consist of a pair of electrodes and provided with quartz window. The bulb is filled with hydrogen or deuterium gas at low pressure. When stabilized, high voltage is applied. They emit radiation which is continuous in region that is 180 nanometer to 350 nanometer. Sometimes xenon lamps are also used as a source for UV source. For visible region tungsten filament is used. For visible radiation tungsten filament is used. It is inexpensive and emit continuous radiation in the region between 350 and 2500 nanometer. For infrared radiation, nest glower and glow bar are going to be used. The glow bar consists of a silicon carbide rod which when heated to approximately 1200 degrees Celsius emits radiation in 1 to 40 micron region. Nest glower employs a halo rod. Nest glower employs a halo rod of zirconium and yttrium. It requires to be heated up to 1500 degrees Celsius before it emits radiation in the region 
0.5 to 20 micron. Glober is more stable than Nust. Coming to the wavelength selector, there are two types of wavelength selector. One is filters and another one is monochromators. There are two types of wavelength selector. One is filters and another one is going to be monochromators. In case of filters, a device that allows light of required wavelength to pass but absorbs light of other wavelength wholly or partially. So any device that allows light of required wavelength to pass but absorbs light of other wavelength wholly or partially. Suitable filter can select a desired wavelength band. A suitable filter can select a desired wavelength band. Absorption filters. We are having two types of filters that is absorption filters and interference filters. In case of absorption filters, works by selective absorption of unwanted radiation and transmits the radiation which is required. Absorption filters works by selective absorption of unwanted radiation and transmits radiation which is required. Examples are glass and gelatin filters. Gelatin filters are made up of layer of gelatin colored with organic dyes and sealed with glass plates. Interference filters works on interference phenomenon causes rejection of unwanted wavelength by selective reflection. Monochromators Monochromators are used to resolve polychromatic light into monochromatic light. The essential components of monochromators are an entrance slit which admits polychromatic light from the source, a collimating device such as lens or a mirror which collimates the polychromatic light on the dispersive device, a wavelength resolving device like a prism or a grating. An exit slit which allows the monochromatic beam to escape. So monochromators are used to resolve polychromatic light into monochromatic light. The essential components of monochromators are we have got an entrance slit which admits polychromatic light from the source. A collimating device such as lens or mirror which collimates the polychromatic light on the dispersion device. A wavelength resolving device like prism or grating, an exit slit which allows the monochromatic beam to escape. So this is going to be monochromator. I have got a source, a lens. This is going to be the entrance slit. This is the prism. This is going to be the exit slit where I am going to get the only the required wavelength that is passed through the sample and then detector. Let us know what is a prism and a grating. Prism disperse light into constituent wavelength. Prism is going to disperse light into constituent wavelength by virtue of its ability to refract different wavelength to different extent. In UV, in UV, in UV visible and IR spectrophotometers, gratings are usually used. Gratings resolve light into components wavelength by virtue of constructive reinforcement and destructive interference radiation reflected. So this is all about in today's class. Thank you.